Trump just gave John Podesta a nasty surprise at G20. Putin's laughing his butt off. President Donald Trump always has perfect timing, and when it comes to laying a trap for his enemies, he never fails to hit the mark. That's exactly what happened at the G20 summit in Germany when Trump delivered a nasty surprise to John Podesta, Hillary Clinton's right-hand man. Trump's trap was so good, it's reported that Vladimir Putin is laughing his butt off as our president continues to destroy all those who want him gone. The mainstream media is in a meltdown mode after Donald Trump trolled them once again, always thinking a few steps ahead of the liberal loons who were trying to vanquish him from the presidency. Trump plays them like a fiddle, using social media to get them to go gaga over everything he says. The big uh, meeting with Vladimir Putin was scheduled for today, July 7th, in Germany, of course. Trump knew no matter what happened, this, uh, which was nothing, the liberal media would be concocting some sort of crazy conspiracy about the two leaders' first face-to-face -face meeting. So true. So true. So with all eyes on him, Trump decided to use his Twitter account to make them report on something no liberal outlets has wanted to touch, and it has to do with John Podesta. Instead of the liberal press focusing about Trump and Putin's face-to-face, -face, Trump tweeted, Everyone here is talking about why John Podesta refused to give the DNC server to the FBI and the CIA. Disgraceful. And with one tweet, President Trump gets the entire media talking about John Podesta on the day he meets Putin. Well played. This was a tweet from Jack Posobiec. Everyone here refers to the G20 summit, and while it's highly unlikely that was the topic of conversation prior to the tweet, it sure became the topic after. This was another brilliant move by President Trump, who focuses the Russia hacking story back where it belongs with the Hillary Clinton campaign and the Democrats and Barack Obama. But there's even more. Lawmakers fail to seize on an alarming development in the Russian co uh, collusion story last week, one that should spark serious and immediate congressional inquiry. But it didn't involve President Trump or his administration, reported the New York Post, adding, during a heated Fox Business interview with Maria Bartiromo, Hillary Clinton's former campaign chief, John Podesta, made a series of misleading statements when questioned about his involvement in a company that received $35 million from the Russian government while Hillary served as Secretary of State. It looks like Podesta, who is in bed with the Russians, uh, the New York Post article also explains that in January of 2011, Podesta was appointed to the board of a small green energy company named Julie Unlimited, a couple months later, around April of 2011, a Kremlin-backed investment fund founded by, founded by Vladimir Putin pumped $35 million into Jule. Uh, serving alongside Podesta on Jule's board were senior Russian official Anatoly Chubais and, and oligarch Ruben Vardanian. Vardanian? Excuse me who has been appointed by Putin to a Russian Economic Modernization Council. This I did not know. Podesta kept denying his role with this company called Jule uh, to Maria Bartiromo during his Fox News interview. In fact, Clinton's former campaign manager got quite upset at Bartiromo, who refused to back down. I love that interview. This has the press reporting that Vladimir Putin is laughing his butt off over just how stupid the mainstream media and the Democrats are in America. Putin is an old school KGB officer, similar to our CIA, and he is fiercely lawyer, uh, loyal to uh, Mother Russia. Absolutely. Not like our uh, groups over here. 
if Putin was going to run an operation so uh, to seriously hack into our election, there would be no way to trace it back to the Kremlin. Isn't that special? He was a master spy for the Soviet Union for years. So, Trump trolls the media again and gets them to report on John Podesta, who in turn was livid, tweeting a string of tweets about how he is on a cross-country vacation and that Trump needs to do his job at the G20 summit, but Podesta may have re a real problem with whatever went down with that small green energy company, which took in $35 million from the Russians as people begin to wonder what the Russians got in return. <laughs> they paid them off. It's, it's like, it's so obvious. Podesta may be next in Trey Gowdy's hot seat, and boy, what Clinton secrets Podesta could tell us. In one tweet, Trump puts the Clintons and John Podesta directly in the spotlight once again. Job well done, sir. So totally agreed. He, this man is so evil. It, it, it's, it's even, it's criminal. Like, just looking at him, you know he's guilty as hell. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and again, thank you for watching.